In this video, we will cover the classic coding interview question, FizzBuzz, which was designed to weed out those that can't program their way out of a paper bag. Don't be that guy. Then later, we will take the difficulty up a notch by adding an extra condition, which will force us to write better code. Subscribe to Aptato for more coding interview questions, brain teasers, and interesting math problems. This buzz is as follows. Write a program that prints out each number from 1 to n on a new line. However, if the conditions below are met, print the following instead of the number. If the number is a multiple of 3, print fizz. If the number is a multiple of 5, print buzz. If the number is a multiple of 3 and 5, print fizz buzz. So in the end, the output should look something like this. As you can see, every multiple of 3 is fizz. 3, 6, 9, 12. Every multiple of 5 is buzz. 5, 10, 20, 25. But every multiple of 3 and 5 is fizz buzz. 15, 45, 30, etc. First, let's create a function that prints numbers from 1 to n. So this number takes a parameter n and puts it into a for loop and prints it out. So let's test this. So as you can see, it goes from 0 to 99, which is not what we want. So we have to fix this up a little bit. So we need to put from x in range of 1 to n plus 1. Since it started from 0, we want it to start at 1, and we want it to end at 100. So let's try this out again. So now it's going from 1 to 100, and that's perfectly fine. So now let's start coding out the conditions. So we create if statements, and look for the multiple of 3. Um, for multiples of 3, we, we would use the modulo operator which is a percentage it signifies the remainder so 5 modulo 3 would be 2 and 6 modulo 3 would be 0 so now if it's divisible by 3 we will print fizz else which is elif divisible by 5 we will print fuzz else we will print if it's divisible by 3 and 5 print his buzz else just print the number Try this up. Made a mistake there. Okay. So one, two, three, fizz. Four, five, buzz. Six is fizz. Nine is buzz. Ten is nine is fizz. Ten is buzz. But there's something wrong here. 15 should be fizz buzz because it's divisible by 3 and 5. Same with 30, which is just fizz. So the issue here is because we put this if statement before this if statement. Now we just have to correct this by moving this upwards. Okay. Right now, one, two, three, fizz, four, five, buzz, fizz, and then fifteen should be fizz buzz, thirty should be fizz buzz, 
so on and so forth. The C45. Yep. Everything looks correct. Now, let's let's uh, take the difficulty up a notch and add an extra condition. Now, instead of fizz, just fizz and buzz, we will add a third word called tuna. So if it's a multiple of three, fizz, five, buzz, seven, tuna. If it's a multiple of three and five, fizz, buzz, multiple of three and seven, fizz, tuna, five, seven, buzz, tuna, and three, five, and seven, fizz, buzz, tuna. Leave a comment below if you know where the reference comes from. Okay, so let's add on to our code here. So it's starting to look very cumbersome already. So just copy some stuff. Fizz buzz tuna, buzz tuna, fizz tuna, fizz buzz, fizz buzz, and one more. And seven would be twenty one, so twenty one would be fist tuna, so thirty five would be buzz tuna. Yes, thirty is fist buzz, seventy should be buzz tuna. So, so far, so good. Uh, fist buzz tuna is three times five times seven, so. I think that's 210. Try that out. Yes, so 210 is FizzBuzz Tuna, so everything looks like it's working properly. Now, as you can see, this is um, very hard to keep up. If we keep adding conditions, it's going to blow up in terms of code. So there's a better way of doing this. So first, we... We declare a string and then we remove all this. So if we divide by three, string is equal to is.
Okay. So here we're using a string to concatenate. And let me explain what's going on here. If it's multiple of three, we add fizz. If it, and then it's not an else anymore because we want it to, we want it to register with this, um, with this if statement as well. If it's a multiple of five, we will add on buzz. If it's a multiple of seven, we will add, we will add tuna. And if it's empty after all this, that means it's neither three, five, or seven, which means we just print out the number. So string becomes number. The, um, why this, this code is much more elegant than the other code is because it is works for any new condition. We just, all we need to do is add one more if statement. So if X is divisible by 13, we can just simply add it here. And we don't need to add every single permutation or combination of, of the multiples. So let's try this out, see if it works. Okay, so one, two, three, fizz, five is buzz, six is fizz, seven is tuna, and then we get fizz buzz on 15. We get fizz tuna on 21, which is three times seven. And buzz tuna on 35. And then we scroll all the way down, fizz buzz tuna on 210, which is three times five times seven. So there you go. This is the upgraded and more elegant version of FizzBuzz. You can simply just do this one by taking this out. And then you've completed the other assignment as well. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. Um, let me know if you guys want to see any other coding interview questions you want solved and until next time